in Uganda is grown mainly by small-scale farmers almost throughout the country, but also with large-scale farmers in few places. Total production is estimated at over 165,000 metric tons. Most rice in Uganda is grown in eastern Uganda, followed by western Uganda due to the presence of low land with high moisture content throughout the growing season. Ben Achan is the chairperson of Latieng Farmers Group, Gulu District. The group comprises of 48 members that are dedicated to rice farming and particularly seed multiplication to help encourage other farmers in this region. We have started our program 2012. Uh, after we have started our program, it will be interviewed by the ISB uh, seed multiplication. We have started seed multiplication through ISB. So up to now, we are still continuing as you see what we are doing. And where I have stand now, this variety, NAMSE 5, we plan in August the 18th. So for us, we see that rice is the is the most important, it's better than other things because it brings enough of money. For example, we sell rice, seed rice, a kilo is three thousand. So if we get one box, uh, 100 kilos, so we get 300 thousand. There are two main rice varieties grown in Uganda today and these include upland rice. This type of rice is grown on land and does not require swampy areas, e.g. Nerica 1, 4 and 10. Lowland rice. This is the oldest type of rice grown and it requires water-soaked places for its production. Now say what you can see with the leaf, you can see how they germinate, uh, germinating and we go to Namse 2, Namse 3, Namse 5. The leaf is also like this, it's not really dark. The seed look white, not yellow. Namse 1, it takes three months only. Uh, if I come from this one, this is Namse 2. Namse 2. Namse 2, it takes four months in the field. Why? Because Namse 2, uh, he has heparomas. Mostly we like it because if you are eating also, you feel at least there's a smell in it. Namse 4 also, it is three months. We like it because it is equivalent to Namse 5, but there's a difference for Namse 5. I'll tell about Namse 5 if we reach in it. The color is uh, like yellow, golden. This is Namse 3. Namse 3 also, it, mostly it is the same with Namse uh, 4. The color also uh, is yellow. That is the deep yellow, this one. So you can see how the stem it is. It's different than and others. This is also three months, not four months. Yeah, this is Namse 5. Namse 5, this variety, it takes three months. Uh, like now, palladiums, I think the NGOs from the palladium also, they want to promote this one. Because doctor have come to tell us that Namse 5, it is good because you have a, a strong stem, a strong stem. A farmers mostly, big farm or middle man where there are big farms. If they are masured, they cannot fail down. It stands still like that. So this one, we are uh, the, the NGOs for palladiums. They are also assisting us, they are giving us a grants to increase these seeds, just to let it be more than other variety. So we plant this about 30 acres, this one. Only this one we plant about 30 acres. And those variety from Guru University, we, they are still training us, I cannot tell more about it. Before planting rice, here are a few steps you need to follow. Prepare the land for planting. For waterlogged rice, let the fields fill with water. Add fertilizer and the ground is graded into a smooth surface. 
You then pick a still warm day and plant the four to five inch seedlings in the fields. If you want to plant rice, we should see like this garden. In the first season or second season, what it was there in the field. First thing, because if you put, if you plant a maize, millets, sorghum and other things, because they eat also together, fruits it goes also together, like what? Like this one. So you want to plant rice, you should dinat, plant dinat, simsin or beans, because it at least give other maneuvers in the lands. So the side selection have been done before you have choose what you have been doing in that field. So this is why we have choose this one because the first season we put right we put uh, granites here, ginars here. After that one we put what we put rice. So we have been trained. If you want to plant your uh, your rice, you should open your land early enough, like February or in April you can start planting. After uh, one month or three weeks, you should start. Uh, 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 we have start uh, weeding. So you can see in line here should be 30 centimeters in line. So we pour it as you are seeing here. So if you weed for the first time, after one month and a half, you put fertilizers. Mostly we put tufts and urea. One and a half months. So we broadcasting that one. It takes 20 kilos of uh, fertilizer of doves, 20 kilos of fertilizer of urea, 25, 25, which is 50 kilos in one acre. So this one we have ready put. We have uh, wheat, first, first wheat, second wheat, we are going to start it, as you see. So you can see the hill of it. You can see how it is. You can see there's no energy gist. It is good. This crop is subjected to more than 40 diseases, which are one of the factors for low yields of rice in the world. The diseases may appear at any stage of the growth and development of the plant, attacking the seed zone, root system, foliage, stalk, leaf sheath, inflorescence, and even the developing grain. At the seedling stage, they, do, they should not allow. Uh, you raise it in the nursery and allow it to grow there. You don't manage it, you don't you allow it to grow wildly without transplanting it. It can also help it spread in the field. So with rice to the yellow motor virus disease, we have really to keep it down. Then the other disease which is also common in the region is the rice blast. And out of the, the, the six Namche rice varieties, there's also, there are also some varieties which are really uh, tolerant to rice blast. And you realize that rice blast is also a seed-borne disease. So when they don't manage it, it can grow into the seed, can be carried on through the seed into the next season and it keep on spreading. Like this one, if we are uh, basic today, we, we test it, we take inside, we give one day only. The second day, we send it out in tablets. After that one, it takes four hours, four hours in the sun. We take, we take it inside. Inside, we don't pour in the box. We leave it like that and we cover also with the other tablets. For the uh, second day or the third day, we take outside. Then we start, uh, what? We start um, testing. We start testing if it is ready, about two hours only. Then we pack it. So this machine they are brought for cleaning, first part for cleaning, because we are the one who makes seeds. Uh, we have a small machines also, like that part of sewing small bags. One I've already taken uh, where the power it is for ceilings, plastics, you can sew that one. Before we have packed our seeds, there's a 
uh, Mr. Meters, which we can see if it is very dry, then uh, we pack it. So that machine also a small one. Before we have got this one, we have been using through by the ISD has given us in Arazadis. So this one with the government from Uganda have given this one good nurse program secretariats. This is a seats QDS. It is a good seats. We take sample also. Uh, the sample also have already taken by the um, by the Ministry of uh, Agriculture for the sample. They have been taking it. So we got a result and we get the certificates. So then we sell it. Here, this year, we have a big challenge. We got about five tons only in the store, but already bought also. But uh, last year, we bought 780.3, 78 tons for last year. So this year, we, uh, we are fairly really for the drought. So we are waiting for the second seasons. And if you enter in the office there, you can see the sample for the seed test laboratory, the certificate for, for last year. And this year we are going to get another uh, certificate. So we have been coordinating with the Ngata Zadi. They have been doing everything for us. Even us also, we work together with the ISD. They already train us what to make seeds. Seed is a critical determinant for improvement of household livelihoods and transformation of Uganda. The seed sector contributes 20% to the GDP and supports food production that is required for the country's growing population of over 34 million. Despite its significant contribution to agriculture, access to quality seed is one of the major challenges that smallholder farmers face. Before ISD came to Gulu, we were the EMEA farmers that were saying like that. We worked a lot but we could not get money. We plant things like cassava, millers, and other things. We do not progress. Mostly we work for food only. Our farmers used to plant grains, especially for the small seeded crops like uh, sim sim, green gram. I would say it is a grain because I don't know for how many years it has been planted. To address the seed value chain challenges related to uptake of quality seed by farmers, the Integrated Seed Sector Development, ISSD Plus project, whose objective is to promote a vibrant, pluralistic and market-oriented seed sector, is implementing initiatives aimed at increasing farmers' awareness and access to quality seed in the north and southwestern regions of Uganda. These initiatives include seed fairs, weekly village markets, roadshow awareness campaigns, community champion sensitization and radio awareness campaigns. In partnership with the Ministry of Agriculture, Uganda Seed Traders Association and the National Agriculture Research Organization Zonal Research Centers, ISSD organizes seed fairs that are attended by local seed businesses and agro-input dealers. Our farmers, most of them are down there in the community. We usually go there and tell them that this is what we want. But through these seed fairs, they really see what we, we have. The farmers are embracing the seeds Reason being that these local seed business groups are from within their communities. The ones who produce seed are their fellow community members. So by having a look at their gardens, at their demonstration gardens, and coming here, looking at the way how the seed is packaged, they have that kind of transition of knowledge from garden to the way how the product is packaged. So they have that belief and acceptance and the people are continuing to buy seed. Umuntaji came to Bokumaranke in Kenya Kankena, Navika, Nakoraho, Nagarka Naviara, Navia. So it was a doctor of Yangu Himba, of Hinga Murundi, Rugu Akasha, and Vaviakura, Kando Garku Graves. I got one to a Gamaku Yangu, Koku Gusrevsia, the Gamuchin. To us as a ministry, this is very important because, as you're aware, we are faced with the problem of counterfeits on the market. And when we have such an initiative where we can uh, be sure of peer pressure in the community, of participation, of understanding the scientific rationale, then I think it is the right way because we are sure that the farmers can get quality seed. Seed fairs aim to enable smallholder farmers to access seed varieties of their choice, create awareness on benefits of using quality seed, and to strengthen and stimulate linkages and information sharing among farmers and seed producers. ISSD 
nabatwe jesa kugira ngo tubase kora weekly markets kugira ngo employee to be extended ninga more productive kugira ngo abantu binji bajimanye babase kugikozesa ebase kubingo bworo maka kandi nana maka gabase kubona ebyo kurya birukumara the ISSD Plus project engaged and trained 50 community champions and 50 sub-county extension officers in the basics of quality seed. These community champions play a role of household door-to-door -door sensitization on the value of using quality seed and further share key messages on uptake of quality seed with community farming. Promotion of quality declared seed, QDS, identified by the green label, produced by local seed businesses, LSBs, and the certified seed identified by the blue label and produced by seed companies is done to ensure that smallholder farmers appreciate and use quality seed. We would like to, of course, thank ISSD so much uh, for piloting this and uh, for making it happen. Uh, and um, the, when I moved around in Isingiro, you can clearly see the enthusiasm of uh, the LSB members, of uh, the community that is buying, and I think uh, we are very grateful to ISSD for this initiative. Farmers, I want to advise you that uh, seeds is the basic for the production. Without quality seeds, you cannot invest anything. Without good seeds, you will not have food to eat tomorrow. We got, without good seeds, you will not have money. So plant good seeds and plant quality seeds for good harvest and better income.